Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Today, we are going back on the Medusa for another tutorial sponsored by one of my Patreon. The same that asked for the drum synthesis tutorial. Now we are going to get into making pads. As you have probably seen in the drum video, I think personally that the Medusa is not very good at it. It's mostly because the, the range of the envelopes is too big. And so, as the opposite of that, it's very good at making pads because the envelopes can be very long. So what is a pad? Basically, it is a sound that you hear in the background. Usually it's associated with chords, like it's a wash of sounds. Okay, so let's start by putting some oscillators up. We'll go into the poly 2 mode. So we can have six voices. In order to make this way more audible for everyone, as I'm very bad at playing, we are going to select a scale. Let's go Locrian. Still my favorite. Probably said that a hundred times already, but... Layout. Let's go for tree. Tree is cool. Because you can make... This kind of calls that I like. Okay, let's put all our oscillators on the same octave. Let's go... We're going to stay on something quite easy, so we are just going to use saw wave from the start. We are also going to select the voice priority next mode. I've made a video about it. If you, if you don't know what it is, I'll link it up somewhere over here. Okay, what's cool about pad sounds usually is to filter them first. And they are usually quite nice when the filter or any other sound parameter is moving. So let's make another envelope that will go modulate the filter with a very long attack with a bit of sustain and a lot of release as well. add lots of freebies to the amp section. A low pass filter is cool. A high pass filter can be nice as well. Let's add some resonance. Also, it's important to note that I won't be using any effects in this video. I leave the Medusa alone, which is usually not the best idea. It really benefits from other effects, and especially for pads, if you have a phaser or delays, it can be really a good time to use them. One nice thing as well is the hold mode, which means this will go on forever. This can allow you to make very, like a, a carpet of sound, a wall of notes going to the background. And this works very well if we add more modulation to it. Now, my first approach would be to modulate the filter. As we don't have the modulation from the envelope here, as it's always full, an LFO should work quite well. Let's make it very slow. Okay. 
Let's choose a somewhat unusual shape like this one. Let's add another one to, let's say, the noise level. Let's add some noise here. Quite difficult to hear right now. Let's add another. Now we can actually modulate the filter with oscillator tree here in the analog one. Go back to low pass mode. Now let's try to fine tune this guy and the other to create some detune. Add another photo to this knob. Well, it's already getting a bit too aggressive. So maybe an octave up would help. Yeah, this is better. Okay, so now let's take advantage of the wavetable to add even more weirdness to this digital uh, here we can hear it's uh, scanning so let's just hear this one but we have access to a lot of other wavetables here It's quite cool to select one of those that is slowly morphing instead of just selecting. But let's put this guy like this. And add with table modulation. Let's try to find another something like this, something slow. One thing I like to do as well is to actually modulate the LFO speed itself. Let's modulate this LFO speed. It's LFO five rate. It's a very slow right here. Lots of amount. Classic sign. Let's remove that old mode and try to play this again. Oops. 
let's re add lots of attack lots of freebies and let's put all the sounds back There's a bit too much noise in there. Let's add some filter tracking. As you can hear, can create a lot of very complex sounds. One other modulation we can add to this. Let's go back on the old. Let's go back to the analog oscillators. And let's put this one to square wave. If you say square here, you now have pulse width modulation which is another thing you can modulate. And let's modulate it with this envelope that we haven't used yet. But as we are in old mode, you can just loop it to make it another foe. Let's remove everything else to see if it works. It works. This also makes for beautiful, weird sounds in the middle of the rest. Put that noise back. This is something I like with the scale, the grid in a scale and the old mode. Drawing weird chords. This is the sound of an S. Sound of a T. The sound of A. Sound of a O. Sound of whatever. Am I going too far? Probably. This is without touching the X Y axis. Let's let's go for it a little bit. pitch. This is one of the things I like to do. Slight vibrato. Go for cut off instead.
sound of a spider. This is actually my favorite thing about the Medusa. It's very inspiring to play it. It's a really fun instrument. Well, that was a bunch of weird sounds. I hope you enjoyed them, and I hope this was at least a little bit helpful. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.